The International American University was established in 2003 as an offshore medical school bringing in students from various locations, mainly from the United States, Canada, India, and Africa. The institution, which operates in Fearful, accommodates some 200 medical students. The COVID-19 pandemic has over the last two years affected its operations. However, President of the IAU, Manmadan Nahir, says the school is ready to recommence operations. This topic and the economic value to the island south formed part of discussions held with Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, recently. Economically, our institution was supporting the VFORD community a lot. Unfortunately, the pandemic came and the students had to go back and all the travel logs, the airport was not supportive of, you know, allowing the students to pass through. The travel bans literally made it very impossible to keep the students in St. Lucia for the last two years. But here, we are today to, to find a way to make it revive the, the institution and bring the students back and satisfy bring to reality the dream that Viewfort is a university town. The students of the IAU usually undertake their academic training within a three to five year period. This means that they will need accommodation, meals, and also require transportation. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, says he is happy to welcome the institution back to St. Lucia and also welcomes the economic contribution it will make to the southern part of the country. Those students, they, they, they rent from people in the south. They patronize the shops in the south. They rent vehicles. And that in itself creates a lot of economic opportunities for residents in the south. Um, so an expansion of their, their program is something that we would welcome. Um, the other thing that I must mention of is that quite apart from opening up to, to offshore medical schools and, and, and providers of, of higher education in this country, we, we have done our due diligence and we want to ensure that whatever is taught in St. Lucia, whatever operations are set up in St. Lucia, um, are in keeping with the standards that we would have set for ourselves and, and, and those operations are also in keeping with the international standards that we subscribe to as a country. Minister Edwards says the ministry will continue to work with the institution in ensuring that it can continue its over two-decade-long relationship with the country and provide it with the necessary incentives that will help it grow its programs. The program is one that is outstanding. They, quite apart from just imparting a medical curriculum, they have had or have enjoyed a very distinguished presence, particularly in the South, and they have honoured their corporate social responsibilities very admirably and it is for reasons like that and others that we look forward to working with them moving forward. The Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates has recognized the International American University College of Medicine, allowing its students to take the necessary steps to become practicing physicians in the United States. The College of Medicine is listed in the World Health Organization's International Medical Education Directory and the World Directory of Medical Schools. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.